Good girl. I love this vest. Hello friends, welcome or welcome back. I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> oh, excuse me. I wanna talk to you today about the truth about River Dog Gear. If you were not already aware, River Dog Gear is a small, um, one woman show essentially of a business. What she does is she makes leashes, I think collars, maybe leash wraps, service dog vests and service dog patches as well. We recently received an order from her and I have been looking into River Dog Gear and getting a vest from her since before I even knew that I was for sure going to be bringing home a service dog candidate. When I decided, yeah, I think I wanna go forward with trying to get a service dog. I did my research on all aspects of service dog stuff and I decided pretty quickly, yeah, I wanna get our first like real professional vest from River Dog Gear. So I spent some money at Fabricland. If you don't know what that is, you can probably guess it's a fabric store. <laughs> and I made Sadie a training cape and then when she outgrew the harness that it would attach to I made her a training vest and we've been using that vest for most of the time that we've been training. It broke <laughs> um, because of course it did and I would just kind of do quick fixes like oh whatever I'll use like embroidery floss to sew the front strap back on. Naturally as you could guess that stuff is pretty weak so it just kept breaking. Back in September, I finally made an order through River Dog Gear. And the order process is actually really easy once you figure it out. Um, so you can order through her Etsy shop, which um, I didn't do, <laughs> but she is on Etsy and she's on Facebook. The way that I ordered was I went to her Facebook page and every Monday she puts up an order form. And then once she's got all of her orders full up for the week, then she takes the order form down. That's something that I really appreciate is she doesn't let her orders pile up and pile up and pile up and pile up. She takes on a specific number and then takes a, another chunk the next week, which I think is great because if she just kept on letting the orders pile up and pile up and pile up, wait times would be a lot longer and quality of the work might be compromised because that's a lot of pressure <laughs> on one person. I really like how responsive she is on the internet. If you reach out to her with any questions or anything, she'll get back to you. Usually it's within business hours, which is reasonable. Yeah, I guess without further ado, I'll take our pull strap off of it. This leash strap is from Patience and Love on Etsy. Yeah, I'm gonna do a Patience and Love review another time. But right now we're talking about River Dog Gear and the items that I sell on my Etsy shop. A 20 inch, 18 or 20 inch pull strap with a handle. Um, the sun is probably hecking this all up, but it is gray and rainbow. Kind of matches the sweater that I'm wearing. This is the ugliest sweater I've ever seen. This is all beading and it makes it really heavy, but I love it. I found it at Value Village and I'm obsessed with it and I'm getting off track. Anyway, go get this in my Etsy shop. <laughs> it attaches beautifully to da -da -da, River Dog Gear Vest. <laughs> On the order form, there's every option that she has available. There are so many different colors for the actual vest itself and the binding and the zipper binding. You can have these D-rings on the side to attach a pull strap to. I'll show you how it works um, soon, if you're curious. You can add a poop bag dispenser, and she has another option for a zipper back here. It's amazing, okay? I really, really love the quality of her work. Um, it's adjustable in the front and underneath. You can decide how many patches you want on it. If you want any patches, you can have your dog's name or anything you want embroidered right onto it. So Sadie walks on my left hand side. I don't know if that's why she put the poop bag dispenser on this side, but I like that it's closer to me than the rest of the world. I chose a pocket vest. There's so many different options, but I'm only gonna talk about the one I chose because that's all I know about. But uh, yeah, we got the pocket vest. There's a D-ring in the front, which I don't know what we're gonna put on it. There's a handle here, and on either side of the handle, there's D-rings to attach a pull strap, which we use. Um, it's just like this, and then Sadie has not necessarily a guiding task. I think it's called forward momentum, and essentially she just like guides me if I'm having an episode. 
I can just hold on to her and she'll drag me. No, I'm just kidding. She will lead me to a safe place or what she most commonly does every time we go out is she um, keeps me with whoever I'm with. If it's not just her and I going out, a lot of the time it'll be me, her, and my boyfriend. And I struggle with dissociation a lot, a lot. Even if I'm super dissociated, she'll just follow my boyfriend and keep me safe and keep me with him. And that, I'm gonna get emotional. She takes such good care of me. Anyway, this is not a review of my service dog and training. This is a review of her vest. So on this side, we have the poop bag, like I mentioned. And the pocket vest just has a pocket on either side. On this side, I just keep a bunch of poop bags. These ones are completely compostable. Why did that sound weird? I really appreciate that because I'm so scared of the fact that the earth is dying. It takes no extra work to use compostable poop bags, so this has been a PSA. There's a service dog in training patch that is attached to Velcro. That's another thing that's really great about uh, these vests. There's the option to have it sewn right on or, let me see if I can line it up properly, there we go. You can have it sewn right onto the vest or you can have it put on with Velcro, which is what I did because I like to interchange things every so often. This review is all over the place, but <laughs> the patches that I chose for the top are do not pet, stop, service dog, and do not distract. A lot of the time when I tell people like, oh, please don't interact with her, she's working, they'll be like, oh, but she's looking at me. Oh, she responded to me going, it's not okay. I find that the do not distract patches are more effective than the do not pet patches most of the time. I'm sure they have good intentions. I'm sure they don't know how harmful it is to distract a service dog. Obviously don't know that it's literally against the law because they do it. Uh, and then on this side, the side that faces out into the world, it says stop, do not pet. We've only gone out. Okay, that sound is annoying me. I'm gonna clip this together. Oh yeah, that's another thing. I really like how big this clip is because it's just, it's so easy to find. It's easy to grip onto. It's just great for people with disabilities, obviously, are gonna be the ones with service dogs, if they're doing it legally, that is. The bigger clips are so, they're so good. Um, that's another thing, speaking of disabilities, when you try to order from River Dog Gear, she will ask you when you first contact her, there's a, two questions that are legally allowed to be asked, and she asks the two questions. It kind of, weeds out the people who are just like, oh, I wanna take my dog with me to Target. <laughs> we had Target here in Canada for a hot minute and then it died. And in this pocket, I keep, um, I don't know why I haven't put it in here yet, but I'm gonna put my like doctor's note in here. We haven't been fully certified as of this moment when I'm recording it. Here in Alberta, there's a public access test that you take and then my sock is on upside down and it's really bugging me. And then assuming that you pass, you get a government issued ID sent to you. We don't have that yet because we're still in training and I anticipate another year of training-ish. Once I can remember to actually put it in here, I'm gonna put our like doctor's note in here. And um, I have cash. This is, this is $15. I don't know why I'm showing you like, hey look, I have money in her vest. Don't rob me. <laughs> but also if you're going through my service dog's vest, that is a crime. What else can I say about this? I just really love all the features and uh, this here is reflective, which I appreciate for nighttime because I worry about my dog not being visible to people. That's kind of why I got a lighter colored vest. I wanted it to look professional, but also be visible and be cute and kind of like on theme with the rest of her gear, I suppose. Obviously, highly recommend River Dog Gear on Facebook, on Etsy. I guess I have to say something negative or else you're not gonna take me seriously. Heads up, it will take a while to get your vest. We've only gone out with it a couple times. I think I was actually in the middle of saying that and I never went back to it. We've only worn this vest a couple of times so far. It looks more professional than our other vest that I had made for her. So I think that helps people take it a little more seriously. I lost my train of thought, but it'll take a little while. I think on her order form, it says to expect kind of two to eight weeks for it to be made. I ordered it on September 17th and I got it in the mail last week. So less than two months. <laughs> it's not an instant like go, 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 order it Amazon Prime, it's here the next day. Um, it's not like that because it's a real person making these with her hands. And I am just 
so in awe. I'm impressed and I love it. 10 out of 10, five stars. I love this vest. Yeah, I guess that's all I've really got to say about it. Let me know in the comments below if you have had an experience shopping with River Dog gear or if you plan to, or if you have shopped at another online store. Let me know what you got and if you like it because I am always looking for new gear. I make gear now and I'm still just, it's my weakness. Some people shop for makeup and shoes. I shop for service dog gear. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to be kind to yourself and others today and I'll see you very soon. Bye. Hey, my Sadie, will you come here? Good girl. Oh, you put your head through? Good job getting dressed. It's really hard to do this when Marco's seeking attention. Oh, oh. <laughs> Thank you, my sweet girl. Oh, Thank you, good hug. Oh, good girl. Good center, my girl. Good girl. Good girl. I used to be overwhelmed by every little thing. Torn apart, unraveled at the seams. I think it rooted in the way I breathe. Mm.